In the first of those two cases, which happened right here, it was a matter of a mom coming home from withdrawing cash at an ATM at a nearby convenience store when tragedy struck at the hands of a reckless driver. Why? Why couldn't you just take the responsibility of your actions? You left five beautiful children motherless and a lonely man. That's Steve Bartolome's plea to the hit and run driver who devastated his family last night. It was here on Motor Parkway near Moreland Road that a car hit another vehicle and then drove off the road and onto the sidewalk. That's where 28 year old Cherokee Flesher happened to be walking, according to police. The car hit her and drove off, leaving her dead. She went out to go get the kids. Uh, trip money for our two oldest daughters. She'd been running an errand last night around 10 o'clock, her fiancé said, to get cash for a school trip their daughters were supposed to take today. Instead today, they and all of the couple's five children are with relatives mourning. They're devastated. They, mommy's not going to be around for Christmas this year. The family had been living at this homeless facility steps away from the scene. The 10:15 p.m. hit and run was the first of two such fatal crashes last night. 15 minutes after the first collision, there was another 11 miles away in West Iceland. It was here on Montauk Highway near Pease Lane. Police say that 32 year old Tracy Dorismond was in the roadway when she was struck by a vehicle that drove off. It happened across the street from Good Samaritan Hospital, but sadly, that couldn't help the victim. Dorismond was pronounced dead at the scene. Meanwhile, at the scene of the first crash, the victim's fiance returned this morning to grieve. He said that the young family was just getting back on their feet when tragedy struck. We were actually a few weeks away from getting housing. And, uh, you know, her, one of her worst fears was, <laughs> believe it or not, was dying in a place like this without a home for her children. Nightmare came true. And while we've been here the last few hours at, the, at this intersection, we've observed some dangerous driving. Police are hoping anyone with any information will call Suffolk County Police Crime Stoppers at 800-220-TIPS.